And I think that that's actually the goal. I think that's what Trump's objective is. It's why he's conditioning the environment and preparing his base for conflict mm -hmm. and for this kind of conspiracy theory about the Democrats stealing the election. That's why he's saying, I won't accept the results unless I win, basically. Um, and that there's fraud and that mail ballots, you know, are, 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 are right with fraud, which of course is demonstrably false. Um, I, I think the goal is recognizing he's in a very sharp position to lose in a much broader sense than he was in 2016, that he's going to use the power of his office to, to influence the outcome of the election. And if it still doesn't go his way, to uh, create uncertainty and undermine confidence in the democratic process. I think that's exactly what we're watching happen. It's precisely what we're watching unfold. And so, and here's why. When you have states that have um, aggressive mail ballot um, efforts, it takes uh, a longer time period to count those votes to ensure the integrity of the election. If you have people mailing ballots in two or three days before the election and they're postmarked November 1, that's a legitimate vote. Mm -hmm. Those are not counted, though. They're not counted immediately because a lot of them haven't arrived into the county government center where they're counted and processed by 8 p.m. on Tuesday. And even if they were, there's a separate process to handle them differently. So America has always been encultured to believe that Election Day happens and it ends on the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November at 8 p.m. And then when the polls close, we go to a party, we wait a couple of hours, have some bad hors d'oeuvres, pop some champagne at 10.30 if your candidate wins, and you know November 4th who's getting ready to take office. With so many mail-in ballots, what we're gonna see is a weeks long process, perhaps the entire month of November where we're not able to certify entirely the exact record of the election. Mm -hmm. What we are going to see, though, is daily counts coming in from the county government center, and the demography suggests that those counts are going to benefit the Democrats. It's just math. It's who is voting, right? And then we know quantifiably that if I'm a younger woman of color, my chances of voting for a Republican are extraordinarily low. But if that's the group that's voting late, which is always what happens, of course, you're going to see a narrowing of the vote that will benefit the Democrats. Simple mathematics, right? Simple. Right. The problem is that narrative, which he's already established for his base, when the race starts getting closer and closer, mm -hmm. is going to be viewed as them stealing the election. 